The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me for daily prayer today on this Sunday, May the 21st. Let's hear God's prayer on this seventh Sunday of Easter together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Listen to my prayer, O God, do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm that is appointed for this day is Psalm 81, verses 10 through 16. I am the Lord your God who brought you out, out, out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people did not listen to my voice. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe toward him, and their fate would last forever. But he would feed you with the finest of the wheat and with honey from the rock. I would satisfy you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading continue in the book of Numbers, the 14th chapter, verses 1 through 25, entitled, The People Rebel. Then all the congregation raised a loud cry, and the people wept that night, and all the people of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The whole congregation said to them, Would that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would that we had died in this wilderness. Why is the Lord bringing us into this land to fall by the sword. Our wives and our little ones will become a prey. Would it not be better for us to go back to Egypt? And they said to one another, Let us choose a leader and go back to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the people of Israel. And Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Je Jephunan, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes and said to the congregation of the people of Israel, The land which we pass through to spy it out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land that flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord and do not fear the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their protection is removed from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. Then all the congregation said to stone them with stones, but the glory of the Lord appeared at the tent of meeting to all the people of Israel. And the Lord said to Moses, How long will this people despise me? And how long will they not believe in me in spite of all the signs that I have done among them? I will strike them with the pestilence and disinherit them, and I will make of you a nation greater and mightier than they. But Moses said to the Lord, Then the Egyptians will hear of it, for you brought up this people in your might from among them, and they will tell the inhabitants of this land. They have heard that you, O Lord, are in the midst of this people, for you, O Lord, are seen face to face, and your cloud stands over them, and you go before them, and a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Now if you kill this people as one man, then the nations who have heard your fame will say, It is because the Lord was not able to bring this people into the land that he swore to give to them that he has killed them in the wilderness. And now please let the power of the Lord be great as you have promised, saying, The Lord is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, forgiving iniquity and transgression. But he will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation. Please pardon the iniquity of this people. According to the greatness of your steadfast love, just as you have forgiven this people from Egypt until now, and the Lord said, I have pardoned according to your word. But truly, as I live and as all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, none of the men who have seen my glory and my signs that I did in Egypt and in the wilderness and yet have put me to the test these ten times and have not obeyed my voice shall see the land that I swore to give to their fathers. And none of those who despised me shall see it. But my servant Caleb, because he has a different spirit and has followed me fully, I will bring into the land into which he went, and his descendants shall possess it. 
Now since the Amalekites and the Canaanites dwell in the valleys, turn tomorrow and set out for the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. New Testament reading, continuing the Gospel of St. Luke, today the 18th chapter, verses 18 through 34. And a ruler asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. And he said, All these I have kept from my youth. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, One thing you still lack. Sell all that you have and distribute it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. But when he heard these things, he became very sad, for he was extremely rich. Jesus, seeing that he had become sad, said, How difficult it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard it said, Then who can be saved? But he said, What is impossible with men is possible with God. And Peter said, See, we have left our homes and followed you. And he said to them, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God who will not receive many times more in this time and in the age to come eternal life. And taking the twelve, he said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem. And everything that is written about the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished, for he will be delivered over to the Gentiles and will be mocked and shamefully treated and spit upon. And after flogging him, they will kill him. And on the third day he will rise. But they understood none of these things. The saying was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what was said. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The prayer of the day, O King of glory, Lord of hosts, uplifted in triumph, far above all heavens, leave us not without consolation, but send us the Spirit of truth, whom you promise from the Father. For you live and reign with him and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. We're bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We lift to God in prayer, Art and Rick, Melissa and Clifford, Helen, Ellie, Mary Ann, Anne, Jerry, Bonnie, Dennis, Kathy, Marilyn, Chris, Arlene, and Colleen. O Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all of our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.